Well, hey, everybody, you made it. Okay, so as promised, if you were watching my live video when I did the Lean and Green Philly Cheese Steak Stuffed Green Peppers, I promise those folks who were voting and really behind the spaghetti squash bolognese that I was gonna make the spaghetti squash bolognese. So, so this recipe, spaghetti, spaghetti squash, as we called it in West Virginia when I was a little boy growing up and going to my grandma's house, the spaghetti squash. We're gonna have some spaghetti. Um, one, we're gonna have one medium spaghetti squash. We're gonna have some salt and some pepper, some fresh basil, ground beef, a pound and a, a, pound and a quarter of ground beef. Um, or excuse me, that's three quarters. Three quarters. Uh, diced tomatoes, a can of diced tomatoes. We're gonna have some water. We're gonna have some scallions chopped up. We're gonna have some paprika, which I need to get out of my cabinet. Paprika. And then some low fat Parmesan cheese. So, um, let me get a couple things together here and we'll get started. Um, so, one of the things I learned about, a trick that I learned about scatty squash is, one, it's a bitch. Number one, that's the first thing you need to know. Um, spaghetti squash is hard to cut um, and everything. And I saw online where you actually take a knife and you score, which I'm not sure why I have to score it now, but I guess it's supposed to help later. Um, you score, so you're gonna score the outside and you're supposed to put it in the microwave for about 10 minutes. So I am heavily scoring, as you can tell, I'm really actually getting into the meat of the actual spaghetti squash. Really getting down in there. Um, along the lines that I just made. And I'm going to be very careful, move my arm. Notice I'm moving my arm out of the way as I'm making these initial cuts. One, because this knife is really sharp, and I, I really don't want to have to go to the ER today. Um, however, okay, so now I've made some scores, and I am just going to pop this bad boy up here in the microwave. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> For 10 minutes. In the meantime, <coughs> As I try not to choke and die. <coughs> I'm gonna cut a couple of scallions here. And <coughs> wash these. Okay. This is kind of wild because I literally, for those of you who were actually in on the video, I literally just finished the green pepper video just a bit back and oddly enough I'm now sitting here doing this video so it's really kind of odd to be doing two back to back but here we are Okay. <coughs> Save our stuff later. Okay, so what I need to do is <coughs> Okay, so what I'm gonna do, <coughs> so I'll let that cook for a little bit. You preheat your oven. 
four hundred. Oh goodness. And I'm gonna stab into this. There we go. It helps soften it up a little bit. Now I I have a really good knife. These are my Cutco knives that I bought from my friend Dom, who is a Cutco rep. Um, if you're in the market for some good sharp knives, I can put you in contact with my friend Dom. And I'm going to do my best not to cut off my freaking arm. to get a spoon, dig out all these seeds. Hope everybody's having a good day. Hope you're enjoying watching this video. If you like this video, I'll certainly make more. I might even start downloading my live from Facebook putting those out as YouTube videos. Bow, bow, bow. Okay, do I need to put any oil or anything? No. Okay, so I'm taking all the seeds out of the spaghetti squash. Spaghetti was always, I mentioned earlier about West Virginia, when I used to go to my grandmother's, um, back when I was little, we would take our family trip up to West Virginia to see my grandparents, because both sets of my grandparents lived there, um, and I still have family there. Um, we'd go up and it, it was always, it's always Friday night. We'd get in, it'd be late-ish. Um, I don't know what time Dad got off from work. We got home and we got everything together or we got home from school. We'd pile up in the car or the truck and we'd head up West Virginia. And when we were little, the drive used to take like three oh, ugh, long hours. And of course, when you're a little person, it seemed like 19 hours. But um, we'd drive up to West Virginia and we'd walk in the house and Friday nights were usually spaghetti night um, at grandma's house. Um, so you'd walk in and you could, you just smelled the spaghetti and she had that on the, the uh, plate. I don't remember, sometimes she would have other stuff like vegetables or whatever, but when we were little, we just ate the spaghetti. Um, but that was always Friday, almost always Friday night, unless she made ground beans and then she'd have cornbread. Um, and stuff. And the other thing she used to make all the time was uh, meatloaf balls. So Grandma didn't like to make a meatloaf like in a pan. She'd make meatloaf balls and put them in her electric skillet and cook them up. And you'd walk in on Sundays so and you could smell it. That was like her. That was her Sunday go-to. Um, so I have fond memories. Um, so okay. So that's getting going and. That up. So this is going to cook for like 30 minutes um, and then I have to measure out three cups of everything and what I'm going to do is put, I'm going to get a, <clears throat> excuse me, a skillet. to get this stuff opened up so that I can get ready, get ready to rumble. Okay. So, there's that. 
slits open. I need to cut my basil. Excuse me. That's really cute. Um, how much basil? Okay. Pull these basil leaves off. I love basil. It's my favorite. Love it. Love it. Love it. Um, yeah, basil. Basil is killing. It's wonderful. Um, yeah, I love basil. The flavor it brings. Um, one of my favorite Thai dishes. Because uh, if you're friends of mine, you know I go to a local restaurant here in High Point called 98 Asian Bistro. A lovely place. Uh, the owner and the family. Uh, yeah, they're my little family. Uh, all of them. But um, the owner, too, um, is, she's just very gracious and she's a, a, a beautiful soul. Um, she... Uh, they make a wonderful ground chicken basil, or you, um, I think you can get it with pork and beef and everything else, but I always do chicken. Um, when I first moved to High Point, um, she and her family had a little restaurant on Main Street, um, and it was there for some time, and then they moved out, the, the restaurant out to the other end of town, and then not shortly after, two, uh, and Todd decided to follow their dream and open their own restaurant. And I was honored and uh, to be asked to design the logo for it. So that was really cool because I got to, um, I got to know two differently because I only really talked to Todd much. Um, cause the funny story is she always sent Todd to my table cause she knew he'd get bigger tips than she would. <laughs> That's cute. Um, don't tell him I said that. God will go to his head and I'll never hear the end of it. But um, anyway, so she would send Todd to my table, uh, our table, to get tips um, because they were sending their daughter through college, so they needed the money. Um, but once they got out to the other end of town, I got to know too on a different level, which was great because I got to know her and just, um, you know, and, and she's been such a... a She's just been, she's been in my heart and she's a special lady and I love her dearly. Um, um, they've been there for me um, when I really needed people. <clears throat> so uh, once the squash goes in the oven, once my oven heats up here to 400, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna brown my, my beef, I'm gonna add in the can of tomatoes, the scallions, um, the tomatoes, the scallions, sorry, water, paprika, pepper, and some salt. Um, and I'm gonna let that do its thing. And I wonder, I probably need to do a few more scallions because I don't think that's enough. Oh, onions ready. Okay, put this in the oven. This goes in once again for 30 minutes. Alexa, set a timer for 30 minutes. 30 minutes, it's starting now. Okay, so while that's doing its thing, um, I need to get a measuring cup. Ooh, up close. Okay. Okay, how much water do I need? Okay, so I'm going to let my pan heat up. I should have heated that up while I was talking about everything else. Um, okay, I think I'm good with the knife. I don't need that anymore. I don't need this, so let me throw this away. Tra la la, connect the dots, la la la. <laughs> okay, so. Warm up. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There it goes. Now we cook it with some heat. Okay, so I'm gonna put in my 
beef. And the basil. Oh, wait a minute. The basil goes in with the other stuff. Once again, okay, so the scallions go in here. The maters. The diced up maters. Seems like I should ground the beef first. But it doesn't say to do that, so I'm not going to do it. Okay, the paprika, a tablespoon of paprika. That's what happens when you do a cooking show after you've done a cooking show. Everything is still dirty. So that's okay. It's kind of odd not to be talking to people because I'm just filming this. So now I'm gonna add my pepper in. Now if you're on program, you notice that I'm not measuring my pepper. Your ass didn't get fat eating pepper. So guess what? Eat the pepper. I love pepper. It's one of my favorites. Along with the basil. Now I'm not gonna go crazy with the salt because it's not good. Now I usually throw in minced up garlic, but I did mincity garlic. So I'm just gonna do a little garlic powder in here because I do Enjoy the garlic powder and then throw in the water. Okay, friends. Okay, let me make this. Okay, what's off the tinkle? I mean, I literally just finished the other cooking video, so everything is still dirty and all that fun stuff. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna smush this down. It says to bring it to a boil. So first off, I'm just gonna make sure I put every, oh, make a mess. That's always important, make a mess first. Make sure you make a mess. Because if you're not making a mess, you're not cooking. do its thing. Let me wipe up this mess. If you haven't noticed, I do not like a messy kitchen. I'm really weird about that. Go figure. I'm going to have to wash my hands again once I pick up this spaghetti squash seeds out of the floor. For God's sakes, the cleaning lady just came yesterday. And I'm making a mess! Okay. Okay. Sounds like we're we're boiling over here. So I may do some movement here to keep all that because we want to brown up our beef. So this is a really, another one of those super simple, easy recipes um, that are on the program. That's the wonderful thing that I love about the program in regards to some of the foods that you get to eat. A lot of it is super simple, easy, doesn't take a rocket scientist to make. I mean, this one, it yields four servings, your one lean, three greens, and three condiments. Total time, 30 minutes. And I'll tell you, um, I have a newfound respect for working moms who have to come home and make dinner um, because, um, God help you, um, I just, Lord, if it wasn't for some of these meals being so quick, 
I would probably eat the same thing over and 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 over again. But these meals are so easy, so fast. Um, it's just great. So I'm gonna let that kind of cook up a little bit here and let it boil some here because it really needs to get that meat brown. I don't know why we didn't brown the meat first, but it didn't say to do that, so. Okay. Um, but it said to bring it to a boil and let it simmer, so I'm gonna, it's, it's, it's boiling. Alexa, how much time do I have left on my timer? You have 23 minutes left on your 30 minute timer. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop the video here, let this boil, let the spaghetti squash still do its thing. I'm gonna straighten up the kitchen a little bit. And when I come back, uh, this should probably be ready. The spaghetti squash will be out of the oven and we'll be able to have some spaghetti squash bolognese. Oh, y'all are missing out on some good stuff. I wish y'all could smell this kitchen right now because between the peppers that I made earlier, and for those folks who are just seeing this on YouTube, when I say earlier, it was on my Facebook page. Um, so you just go miss out on that, I'm sorry. Um, I might be able to download that though. We'll see, I'm not sure. Anyway, um, between that and now the beef is, oh, it smells so good. The basil in here, the beef, the diced tomatoes, this, um, oh, the basil's not in there, the basil's over there. Scallions, the beef, the tomatoes, just, oh, it smells so good. It smells so good. So I'm about two, probably about two minutes now. Alexa, how much time's left on my timer? You have two minutes and 10 seconds left on your 30 minute timer. Thank you, Alexa. But you can say you're welcome. Anyway, um, Alexa, who is Siri? According to Wikipedia, Siri is a virtual assistant application built into certain iOS devices. It hears what the user says and responds by web services. At first, Siri was an app in the App Store, but Apple bought the company that owned it on April 28, 2010. Alexa, do you like Siri? I like all AIs. Oh, you changed your tune. Hmm. Siri, tell me a joke while we're waiting on this. I mean, Alexa. Alexa, tell me a joke. What kind of cheese can play the piano? Lim Berberaggi. Alexa. Tell me another joke that's actually funny. Why are hedgehogs so fashionable? Because they're always dressed to quilt. Oh, Lord. Those are dad jokes for all get out. If I was a dad, well, I'm a fur baby dad. If I was a dad, I'd be hitting up Alexa for some jokes. So if you're a dad out there watching this, chat with Alexa. Um, so we probably have, Alexa, how much time I left on my timer? You have 30 seconds left on your 30-minute timer. Alexa, turn off my timer. 30-minute timer. <sighs> okay. Okay, gang. So, I'm going to turn this back a little bit. Shh. And let me get... Let's do this. Okay. So, obviously, <laughs> this is real hot. It just came out the oven. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip it over, okay? And just start raking my fork through like shout. You didn't know there was gonna be musical accompaniment, did you? Now I only need three cups to make it a lean and green meal. However, I live in a home where someone is not on the lean and green meal. So I am going to just put this directly 
into the um, bowl here. And I'm gonna go ahead, oh yeah, this is wonderfully. Okay, so, But the great part about spaghetti squash is, especially for those folks who love their pasta, it's wonderful because it's a healthy version. Um, if you've watched me cook on my YouTube, I mean my uh, Facebook Live, you also know that uh, I love to do a good palmini noodle, um, which is super tasty as well. Um, I enjoy palmini a lot. the palmini, I mean not the palmini, see I'm thinking palmini, I got my head on palmini people, palmini, um, sounds like somebody, what was his name, his name was palmini, um, it says to mix up the basil into the spaghetti squash, notice I have not put any oil, I didn't put any, um, also did not put any butter because the great thing about spaghetti squash is it already kind of comes off buttery now if you're on program you're supposed to have three cups of this um, for the recipe and it would create one um, four servings so I'm sure this is probably a little more but what I'm going to do is I'm going to Sorry, Leia's decided she wants to talk to the neighbors. Leia, daddy's doing a video. Daddy's doing a video, hush. I don't need that see. Hush, daddy doing a video. I know you want to be on the video, but you have to be quiet. Okay, so now I've put my uh, noodles into here. I need to get a spoon to, um, Plop them on. Let me get a little ladle. My little friend Tracy, my little friend Chef Tracy, she did. I saw her do this, and I was like, "Ooh, that's so cute. That's so bougie." So I'm gonna put some of my beef mixture on top. Look at this. Oh. Okay. Now keep in mind, all of this beef was for one whole meal. Okay. So, so I've got my beef mixture there. And then I'm going to take some of the Parmesan. We'll put a little bit of that on top, like so. Bow, 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 bow. Let me get a fork. Because you know, I always taste test. So keep in mind, folks, salt and pepper here, nothing here. Look at this. Oh my goodness. So, uh, spaghetti squash with the uh, beef, um, with the diced onion, I mean not diced onion, diced tomatoes, the scallion, uh, there's basil in here, some parm, so. Mmm. I love it. I'm not missing pasta at all from this. 
This is absolutely delicious. Wonderful flavor. The spaghetti squash, of course, acts just like a, a thin spaghetti. And you get that pop of basil. Mmm. Mmm. Y'all. Mmm. Make this today. So, once again, it was spaghetti squash, some salt and pepper, fresh basil, ground beef, canned tomatoes, can of diced tomatoes, some scallions, some water, some paprika, and some Parmesan, low fat Parmesan cheese. That's it. So super easy, super quick. Uh, the longest was cooking the squash and getting this to simmer for 30 minutes. So everybody enjoy. Much love to you. Be kind to yourself, be kind to others. 